Robert Serber March 14, 1909 to June 1, 1997 was an American physicist who participated in the Manhattan Project. Serber's lectures explaining the basic principles and goals of the project were printed and supplied to all incoming scientific staff, and became known as the Los Alamos Primer. The New York Times called him the intellectual midwife at the birth of the atomic bomb. Topic. Early life and education He was born in Philadelphia as the eldest son of David Serber and Rose Frankel in a Jewish family. He married Charlotte Leoff July 1911 in 1933, the daughter of his stepmother's uncle. Rose Serber died in 1922 and David married Charlotte's cousin Francis Leoff in 1928. He earned his B.S. in Engineering Physics from Lehigh University in 1930 and earned his Ph.D. in Physics from the University of Wisconsin-Madison with John Van Vleck in 1934. Shortly before receiving his doctorate, Serber was selected for a National Research Council postdoctoral fellowship and planned on conducting research at Princeton University with Eugene Wigner. However, after spontaneously enrolling at the University of Michigan's Physics Summer School, he changed his plans and went to work with J. Robert Oppenheimer at the University of California, Berkeley. For the next four years, he shuttled with Oppenheimer between Berkeley and the California Institute of Technology, where Oppenheimer held a secondary faculty appointment. In 1938, he took one of the era's few tenure-track professorships in physics at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, where he stayed until he was recruited for the Manhattan Project. Topic. Manhattan Project He was recruited for the Manhattan Project in 1941, and was in Project Alberta on the dropping of the bomb. When the Los Alamos National Laboratory was first organized, Oppenheimer decided not to compartmentalize the technical information among different departments. This increased the effectiveness of the technical workers in problem solving, and emphasized the urgency of the project in their minds, now they knew what they were working on. So it fell to Serber to give a series of lectures explaining the basic principles and goals of the project. These lectures were printed and supplied to all incoming scientific staff, and became known as the Los Alamos Primer, LA-1. It was declassified in 1965. Serber developed the first good theory of bomb assembly hydrodynamics. Serber's wife Charlotte Serber was appointed by Oppenheimer to head the technical library at Los Alamos, where she was the only wartime female section leader. Serber created the code names for all three design projects, the Little Boy. Uranium gun, thin man, plutonium gun, and fat man, plutonium implosion, according to his reminiscences 1998. The names were based on their design shapes, the thin man would be a very long device, and the name came from the Dashiell Hammett detective novel and series of movies of the same name, the fat man. Bomb would be round and fat and was named after Sidney Greenstreet's character in the Maltese Falcon from Hammett's novel, Little Boy would come last and be named only to contrast to the thin man bomb. This differs from the unsupported theory, now abandoned, that fat man was named after Churchill and thin man after Roosevelt see links. Serber was to go on the camera plane for the Nagasaki mission, Big Stink. But it left without him when Group Operations Officer Major James I Hopkins ordered him off the plane as he had forgotten his parachute, reportedly after the B-29 had already taxied onto the runway. Since Serber, who was commissioned as a colonel in the United States Army for the mission and thus technically outranked Hopkins, was the only crew member who knew how to operate the high-speed camera, Hopkins had to be instructed by radio from Tinian on its use. Serber was with the first American team to enter Hiroshima and Nagasaki to assess the results of the atomic bombing of the two cities. Post-war work In 1948, Serber had to defend himself against anonymous accusations of disloyalty, mostly because his wife Charlotte's family were Jewish intellectuals with socialist leanings, and also because he tried to remove politics from discussions of the feasibility of the fusion bomb, leading to arguments with Edward Teller. 
Although he had been cleared of any potential wrongdoing at a subsequent hearing that year, he was denied a prerequisite security clearance for a Japanese physics conference in 1952, precipitating his refusal to join a Teller chaired Department of Defense advisory group. Nevertheless, Serber went on to consult numerous labs, businesses, and commissions, including Brookhaven National Laboratory, where he worked one day a week during the academic year and occasional summers for 20 years, and Fermilab. Although largely bereft of any ideology, he refused to join Jason because of his previous clearance issues and opposition to the Vietnam War. In 1951, he became a professor of physics at Columbia University. He served as chair of the department from 1975 until his retirement as professor emeritus in 1978. In 1972, Serber was awarded the J. Robert Oppenheimer Memorial Prize. Robert Serber is interviewed in the Oscar nominated documentary, The Day After Trinity. 1980. In the 1989 movie dramatization of The Manhattan Project, Fat Man and Little Boy, the role of Robert Serber is played by H. David Pulitzer, a professor of theoretical physics at Caltech. Pulitzer was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2004. Serber died June 1, 1997 at his home in Manhattan from complications following surgery for brain cancer. Topic bibliography Serber, Robert, Kreese, Robert P. 1998. Peace and War, Reminiscences of a Life on the Frontiers of Science. New York, Columbia University Press. ISBN 978-0-231-10546-0. Serber, Robert 1992. The Los Alamos Primer, The First Lectures on How to Build an Atomic Bomb. University of California Press. ISBN 978-0-520-07576-4. Original 1943 LA1, declassified in 1965, plus commentary and historical introduction. Serber, Robert 1987. Serber Says, About Nuclear Physics. World Scientific. ISBN 978-9971-5-0158-7. Robert Serber 1909-1997 A Biographical Memoir by Robert P. Kreese, 2008, National Academy of Sciences, Washington. Topic references Topic Further reading Hodison, Lillian, Henriksen, Paul W., Mead, Roger A., Westfall, Catherine L. The 12th of February 2004. Critical Assembly, A Technical History of Los Alamos During the Oppenheimer Years, 1943-1945. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-0-521-54117-6. External links 1994 audio interview with Robert Serber by Richard Rhodes Voices of the Manhattan Project 1982 audio interview with Robert Serber by Martin Sherwin Voices of the Manhattan Project Annotated Bibliography for Robert Serber from the Alsos Digital Library for Nuclear Issues Naming of Fat Man and Thin Man after Churchill, Roosevelt? Oral History Interview Transcript with Robert Serber 26 November 1996, American Institute of Physics, Niels Bohr Library and Archives Oral History Interview Transcript with Robert Serber 10 February 1967, American Institute of Physics, Niels Bohr Library and Archives Eyewitness Account of the Trinity Test.